Hey guys, it's Mick. Welcome back to more Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch Blind. In the last episode, we got our last Mornstar orb and we're told to head here to Hamlin to figure out what to do with it. Uh, because they were they're too big to fit in our wand. So now we're here to do just that, and I'm pretty sure it's it wants us to go and talk to Marcuson. So just have to go through the 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 palace and go speak to with go sp if I could ever speak if then <sighs> deep breath <laughs> and go speak with him to see what what we might have to do with them because I want more star to be powered up. I want to get these damn purple chests that have plagued me since the beginning of this game. Yo, what's up, Marcuson? Guess what, your princeliness? We got all them stones. You have Monstar's magic stones? You helped recover the map from Kublai? That's right, your highness. Well, actually, he kind of gave it to us. Kublai helped you. The Sky Pirate? He's not a bad sort once you get to know him. He took us under his wing, like, even gave us a dragon to fly about on. Tidy, eh? He gave you a dragon? Can this be true? It's true, your highness. Tengri helped us to find the three magic stones. We couldn't have done it without him. But the problem now is how to stick the sto how to stick the stones back in the Morningstar. And I won't lie to you. We won't I won't lie to you. We don't have the foggiest. We were kind of hoping you might be able to help us, your highness. Please give me the wand and the stones. I wish to examine them. Hmm, this is a rather tricky one. Oh, don't tell me you can't help us either. The stones are just too big, aren't they? Well, if it were a mere matter of unifying the sizes of the wand and the stones... My powers would more than suffice, but I'm afraid it is not only their dimensions that are out of alignment, there is another problem. One that I lack the ability to resolve. Hang on a minute, are you telling us it ain't just the walkie sizes we have to worry about? It's never flipping easy, is it? Is it because... Yeah, is it because we got more star in the past, but the orbs in the present? So they, they're just not aligned in, like, space-time or whatever? I think I've got it. Just think for a moment. When exactly did we get a hold of Mornstar? It was when we were sent back to the past, which means, um... The problem may stem from attempting to join the Mornstar of 15 years past with the stones you obtained here in the present. As long as there is this... time difference, so to speak, it may not be possible to unite them. So, we need to find Mornstar here in the present? If only it were that simple. I had my men search for it, but it seems it has been destroyed. Not a trace of it remains in our time. So, what if we sent someone back in time with the orbs, placed the orbs there, so they wouldn't be stole, like, so there, there would be two sets of orbs in the past, I guess. But one set wouldn't be stolen, and then we could just wait that out. and Or, well, it would happen in an instant for us. But then those orbs will just make it to our time like that. Because didn't the one guy in the cutscene say the Forbidden Spell is going to be used again? So someone's about to send those orbs back, is what I'm gathering from here. It wouldn't be Marcassin, though, would it? Because he's kind of needed here, and you can't use the spell twice, can you? Hold on. We brought it with us from the past, so surely it makes sense that it doesn't exist in the present as well. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. This is all getting a bit too flippin', flippin complicated for me. There may be one who can help you. I speak of... Kulan, one of the four great sages. Her magical powers were the most formidable. So if we can find the great sage Kulan, she can help us with Mornstar? We're talking about Kulan, the queen of the heavens, right? She ruled a city in the clouds called Xanadu, but that place was destroyed, yes. Jeepers, her city was destroyed? 
Can it really be five years ago? Y yes, it must be. Five years ago, news reached us that Shadar had attacked the Celestial Citadel of Xanadu. By the time we mustered our forces, it was too late. When Hamlin's airborne divisions arrived, Xanadu was wiped from the map. I'm afraid I do not know what became of its queen and her subjects, but perhaps, if you're lucky... Bah, fat chance. It sounds like Shadar dealt with them just like he dealt with your predecessor. Swain, please. In any case, it is not within my power to help you. For that, I can only apologize. Don't worry, your majesty. There must be another way. Well, if we can't find Kulan, I guess we'll have to try another great sage. Another? Well... Alicia is no longer with us, which leaves only Rashad. Yes, my father is sure to know something. Your father? Oh, I see. Now I now see where you get your wisdom. Yes, Rashad may well be able to help you. <laughs> Thank you, your majesty. Well, we're not going to find anything out by hanging around here swapping compliments. Let's be off, shall we? Sure, let's go find someone who can help us. They're out there somewhere. I just know they are. So, to... Oh, okay. I have to walk? I was just going to warp to... Uh, what's it called? Al Mamun and hope that... What happened there would... Uh, and then hope that we can just go talk to Rashad there. But I guess Drippy is telling us that we have to walk... At least some distance until, like, a cutscene happens, I guess. Cool. <laughs> maybe, maybe Rashad has made it to Hamlin and Trippy's just like, Hey man, if you warp, you're going to find no one, so just, just hang about a bit, alright? What the hell was that accent? Um. <laughs> we'll see. Yep, cutscene, here we go. Gosh, look at her. Does this happen to be the sage? That's not the type of armor you found around these parts. She has no doubt for starters. There's sure is something strange about her. Hold on, could she be... What is it, Swain? Is she a friend of yours? Heh. <laughs> yeah, we go way back. But seriously, it's that armor she's wearing. It's what they wore in Xanadu. You what? But I thought Xanadu was destroyed. So she's a survivor, is she? There's Lucky! Come on, Ollie boy, let's find out where our girl's got to save for herself. Yeah, sure, let's go. Oh, she's a spirit, then. Okay, so... Spirit medium, here we go. Can, can it be? Can you... can you see me? Of course we can. Why wouldn't be able? Why wouldn't we be able to? Oh, this is marvelous, and you can hear me too. Sure, we can hear you, but if we're using spirit medium to speak with you, it must mean you are correct. I lost my life some time ago, and you are the first to notice my presence. Well, we aren't going to miss you in that get up, were we? So you came from Zanadu, did you? Indeed, the Celestial Kingdom of Zandu was my home. I was charged with protecting our queen. But Shadar destroyed Zanadu, didn't he? So I guess you, um... No, I did not fall in battle. I was... I was slain by a comrade. A fellow citizen of Zanadu. Huh? What, what do you mean? What you said was correct. Shadar did indeed lay waste to my home. That fiend made his way into the inner sanctum of the palace, unnoticed by anyone. Our magic had no effect on him. Even the mighty sorcery of, King of Queen Kulan was useless. Kulan, but we heard she had the most powerful magic of all the great sages. Nonetheless, it was no use. She was too powerless against him. But Shadar did not take our lives. No, he robbed us of something else. He stole our hearts. He took the hearts of all who dwelled within our city. He... He stole all of your hearts? Indeed, and without hearts to call our own, we lacked emotion. We lacked reason. And that was how it came to pass that... 
Duh, you said enough. We can imagine what happened then, believe me. Shadar will pay for this. What happened that day, I will never forget. Its horror is forever etched into my memory. That's so horrible, to be killed by one of your own people. I'm so sorry. Do not pity me. My people still have hope. Hope? What do you mean? Queen Kulan, the queen of the heavens, she lives still. She does? But we thought that... Now that I dwell in the spirit, spirit realm, I can feel her presence. I can sense my queen's power. For years I have searched for her without cease, but she is not to be found in this kingdom. I sense her presence somewhere to the north of here, but I sense something else too. An evil so terrible I fear to approach it. North of here? Do you mean the Tombstone Trial? Maybe. Time was there was another there were other kingdoms on this continent. Now there's only Hamlin and the odd town or two. But if she's out there we have to find her. We've got Tengri. If the Queen of the Heavens is somewhere around here, we're sure to find her. Do you mean it? Do you really mean to search for her? You have my eternal gratitude. Don't worry, ma'am. We won't let Shadar get away with what he's done. And besides, we have our own scores to settle with the fiendish scoundrel. Oh, stop trying to profess her by sounding all heroic. What he means to say is, leave it to us. I am most humble. I thank you most humbly. I am deeply grateful. Ah, I almost forgot. Should you find Queen Kulan or any other survivor from Xanadu, would you give them this? It was damaged by the fire that swept through our realm, but it, it is the only remaining proof that my city, and indeed myself, ever existed. Sure, leave it to us. The wings of Xanadu, you say? Time to scour Atomnia, huh? Uh, can I just... Like, vacate? No. Can I just travel to Hamlin, then, to, like, get to the entrance of Hamlin? <laughs> I don't quite feel like... So, there's only so many places we have yet to explore. We have over there, which I strongly assume is where we're going to fight Shadar. Probably not the White Witch. That'll be something else. Um, but maybe there's, like, somewhere up here we can go to. Like, what's all this? Like, th this is something something unique. So I, I want to try and land... Jeez, that's all the way over there. I want to try and land down here, pick up that, that sparkly treasure point, of course, and then see what that... what this building up here is. Because maybe... Two power stones, huh? Because maybe this... This is somewhere we need to, to go to find the Queen of Xanadu, Perdita. Well, it's a place we can go at the very least. Is it where we need to go? It absolutely is. Xanaduvian Guard. How very observant from you of you. Listen, we'd love to stay in chat, but we've got things to do. Uh, what if we give you the wings of whatever the hell? Um. The sacred ceremony is about to begin, and, and Queen Kulan will not be kept waiting. Well, that's exactly who we need to find. We're not trying to kill your queen, you fool. There you go. B but how? Tell me, where did you find this? Met a lady in Hamlin. She was wearing armor just like yours. No. I reckon she had enough on her plate already, what with her being dead and all.
Uh, we we need to talk to her about Mornstar. What do you mean out of luck? Oh right, uh, you you did mention that. Yes. Well, we might just have to wait until the ceremony is over, I guess. Perdita, the Lost Land. I see. Oh, and since it's a new town, and kind of on, like, a mountainside, we should be able to find, find Horus here, should we not? And there is also an errand shop. Well, first things first. This is a new, also a new town, so let's grab these. Um, grab the jars, yes. But now let's we rest at the inn and see if there's something new we can get out of it. And maybe Horus is in, in inside here. Maybe yes, no, perhaps. Patty cake. Uh, hello, proprietor. 320 guilders. That is chump change to me. Yeah, I would imagine you don't get a lot of visitors because visitors don't seem to be allowed in? That page? Yeah, the... Okay, so we have a page about Xanadu, you say. Okay, cool. I definitely want to read that, see what that's all about. Okay, um... Not the journal, the wizard's companion, so... Regions of the world, I would assume. No? Uh, we'll just see all pages. Kind of zoom in, see. Here we are. Xanadu was a city built exclusively via magical means, situated atop a mighty stone pillar that was summoned from the depths of the earth. It was ruled by a great sorceress who possessed truly fearsome magical power, and whose prophecies were believed to be infallible. Pleasantly warm. And then there's the dragon lair, I see. Not that that really matter not no that's not that that's really relevant to us anymore since it's gone but all right now let's look around and see if we can't find Horus and of course also try and see and eh, see if there's any new errands and bounties to pick up a slice of game pie yes yes Um, anyone else in here? Horace, hey buddy! What's up? Um, where are you, spirit medium? There we go. Ah, it's you, Ollie. You must have a lot of time on your hands to climb all the way up here. Well, we had a dragon to take us here. Must have been tough for you, though. Hardly. One of the great things about being the ghost is that I can go pretty much anywhere. Anyway, take a look around the, wor the words on the board here. They're written in funny letters, aren't they? They're from the Sagely Stone Age. Looks a bit like Nazcon, you say? They're actually based on Nazcon rules. If you look through the chapter called Regions of the Worlds and Your Wizard's Companion, you'll find bits of Nazcon here and there. There's a certain character that only appears in one location. My question is, where is it? Okay, so we just gotta look at the regions of the world and look for unique Nazcon. Um, Okay, I think I get it. Um, so, rolling hills, sideways, G.
deep dark wood. Uh, deep dark wood. Semi circle with T. Ding dong. Semi circle cross. Golden Grove Swirly. Then Temple of the Trials is also sideways G. Alma Moon is a semicircle with T. Shipwreck Shore is semi. Circle Cross. Vault of Tears is Swirly. Castaway Cove is a Bullseye. Jabal is Pac Man. I'm just going to speed through it at this, because I think, I think Jabal is, yeah, yeah, it's totally Jabal that has the, the one thing that only appears, the, the symbol that only appears in one location, Old Smokey. Okay. That character only appears in Old Smoky. There we go. Yeah, the only character that appears is next to Japal Al Dukan. I wonder if you would accept it if I wrote that as well. And a reward is the Veil spell. Stay safe by concealing yourself from enemies. Is that, like, something I can use to not, um, to, like, avoid random encounters? If so, that'd be pretty useful. A much bigger island, you say? Hmm. You don't remember, you say. Um. Yeah, just what's your story, Moon? How come you know all this dim and distant past? I told you, Pipsqueak, I'm the Sage of Ages. That's not a flippin' answer, but it's all I can remember. I'm Horus, the Sage of Ages. Beyond that, your guess is good as mine. You really can't remember? I was certain that... Traveling the world would help bring back more of my memory, but now I'm not so sure. Sometimes I feel like it's all coming back to me, but then it goes again, and I'm right back where I started. Ah, who cares? What matters is that I can go wherever I like and see whatever I please. Why fret about a little thing like losing my memory? You'll be waiting back where we first met. In so Ding Dong Dell, I will definitely go to see you there, actually. Um... But first, I want to speak to the Taskmaster. No new bounty hunts. And what about the, the errand board? Nothing new, huh? So then, that that on the map there is just where I need to go to progress then. Hmm? Alright. Well, I'm going to travel to Ding Dong Dell. Screw the, screw the main story, I guess. <sighs> Who decided the sun should be so bright? Oh my god. So, I'm recording this one in the morning, and the sun is just, like, coming up now, kind of. Um, and whoever built my room made it so that the window is directly aligned 
with the direction the sun comes up in. So it is just blasting my eyes. And I can't turn around because this is also where, like, my computer and everything is. So I'm just suffering. Where are you, Horus? You said you'd be here, yes? All right, you're at the, like, the gravestone. At the, the top of it, right? Hmm. I'm gonna put on frigging sunglasses, see if that helps. It doesn't really help, but no oh well. So I believe Horus was back here? No? He said he'd return to where we first met, but wasn't that... That was in Ding Dong Dell, yes? Do I have to advance the story before he appears here at all? I'll, I'll explore... I'll explore Ding Dong Dell a little bit more and hope... Hope that he appears, but if he doesn't, then, then, like, if I can't find him, then I'll just warp back to Perdita and, and see. It is looking like he is not in Ding Dong Dell yet, so I'll just, I'll just assume that the story brings me back to Ding Dong Dell, and then that is when I will find him again. But for now, let's just, is that another purple chest? Yes, that is a purple chest. So let's note that down, I suppose. Yo, what's up? Ay, ay, ay! That guard, what is he thinking? Why is he letting more outsiders? First there was that giant man, and now children? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. We're looking for King Kulan. The guard said she was somewhere around here. Mm, so you've come to receive her blessing? Here we go, a flippin' gun. What's with all the sacred ceremonies and bloomin' blessings? Okay. Come to Perdita, yet you know nothing of blessings? Look deep into the eyes of the people here. See how we are blessed. Oh, we've seen them all right. These people aren't blessed. They're... Broken-hearted. Seems like some blessings aren't worth counting. What did the man say? Oh, yeah, our hearts, they're... Broken-hearted? Oh, that was the little girl that said that. Pay no attention, Carino. The blessings we have received have lifted the fear from our hearts. Do you know how many towns in this land have been wiped from the map by the Dark Jinn? But you can't just give in. You have to stand up to Shadar. Let me take a look at you, Nino. Ah, you are a wizard, are you not? How can you know what it is to have no magic, no power, but nothing but fear in your heart? But, but ma'am, you can't let your heart be broken just because it stops you feeling afraid. He's right! What's the point of a blessing like that? You may as well have your heart broken by Shadar. <clears throat> Nina, Carino, it is nearly time for the ceremony to begin. It is finally time for you to join us. It is time for you to be blessed. I am ready. Then let us go. We must not keep Queen Kulan waiting. I'm not so sure Queen Kulan's going to be much help, you know. Not if she's the one handing out these so-called blessings. But if we don't do something, the little girl will end up like everyone else. We have to go after them. Oh, I see. Oh my god, the sun, it's so bright. Um, <laughs> well, I think... I think we will follow after Nina and the village elder in the next one. So, thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you then.